to the channel. Welcome if you're new. Something a little bit different here. Um, some of you might be aware because some of you might have come over to this channel because you're aware of uh, Helmet Head, another YouTuber um, called Alan. His channel is Helmet Head. Um, I reached out to him a while ago because um, I'm not sure which order this this is going to go um, in the series of videos. So you might I might have already posted a video. Basically, a guy called Alan Helmet Head was touring the UK uh, on this tiny little 125 Honda monkey bike. Okay, um, I saw it on Facebook. A mate of mine. Rob posted it to me, uh, sent it to me on WhatsApp that this lunatic was going around the UK on this little 125 monkey bike and I thought, wow, another wacko, okay, um, how come I don't know of this whack job, I, I need him in my life, you know, I, I need some of that caper. So when I saw that the guy, because he put um, uh, a tracking link on Facebook every day, uh, a Google Maps, you, you could see where he was and you could follow him. So people were, were following him, joining in, um, which is part of what I love about this YouTube community. Uh, you know, you can find like-minded uh, wackos that all, all into the same sort of thing as yourself, you know. Um, so I started looking where he was going and I thought, oh, okay, he started off in Hunstanton here in the UK. He went up through Scotland, around the top of Scotland, and back down, I thought I was going to come past Western Supermare, which is where I am. Um, some of you will know that. So, and I've got a garage. So I thought, oh, so I reached out to him and said to him, you know, if you want some help with the bike, uh, if you're coming past Western Supermare, I could do a service on the bike and what have you. So that's what we did. We got in touch. Um, I, I'd like to say the relationship has now blossomed. Um, so basically what happened was there is videos on Helmet Head's channel of him doing the ride around the UK on this bike and there's also a video on his channel of when he comes here. Well it's part of that series in actual fact. So when he comes here, um, that one is called The Monkey Bike Gets an Overhaul but don't just watch that one, watch the whole thing um, and you can see how mental he is. Uh, so yeah, so I did a bit of work on it serviced it, put, new, put these tyres on it, new chain and sprockets, blah 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 and then he carried on off on his way around the UK. Um, we got to know each other a little bit, bouncing messages backwards and forwards one thing to another and uh, I went out for him, me and Wookie went out with him uh, on the Sunday, the day after I did the work on the bike and we went for a ride with him um, with some other guys that are subscribers of his, other fans of his. Um, and uh, had a right laugh. So that was that. Like I say, I don't know if that video will be on my channel before this, um, at the time of me filming this, but basically there is a video of me and Wookie going out for the ride around the bottom half of the UK for a little bit, went to Linton Linmouth and all that, had some fish and chips. So anyway, so then, because Alan, aka Helmet Head, is um, a fully fledged, um, lunatic and he is a suitable case for treatment what he's now decided to do is he wasn't he wasn't content with just completing the ride around the UK on this tiny little bike which wasn't made for that kind of thing so now what he's doing is he's going around Europe on this tiny little bike he's talking about going around the whole world so that shows you what a lunatic he is, is why I think he's great. So he's, I know Million Dollar Bogan did a similar thing to this, if any of you guys are familiar with uh, Danny Hayes, Million Dollar Bogan. He did, um, I don't know the name of the road, I can't remember, but some road in Australia where he rode and it was um, a charity thing um, to raise money for, uh, to raise awareness of male suicide. Uh, so I thought, oh fair play, so I, I sent some money into that and, and watched that series. Um, but Alan's done it all around the whole of the UK, the whole, all of it. So anyway, like I say, now he's going to Europe. He's going to do it in different legs. He's going to do, because he has to go back to his day job, he's going to go to France. That's leg one. Then I think he's going to do Spain. That'll be leg two. And in between each leg, he's going to go back home, go to work for a bit, 
um, see his uh, family, see if his kids remember who he is and stuff. Um, and then go back and do the next. Uh, my phone's ringing, which is typical. So, uh, so basically, he put a thing on his Facebook um, and on YouTube wanting someone to get involved to um, look after the bike, get it ready, prepare it for touring the world, potentially. So, obviously, um, I rang him up, where do I sign? Um, so, what I've done is, I've... Be in true um, my fashion, I don't like going in half cocked. If I'm going in, I'm going in with a full on, or I'm not going in. So I've gone, I've gone in with a full on. Um, I've spent probably way over what I thought I would or wanted to, but go big or go home, you know what I'm saying. So. In the course of doing this little series of what I'm doing to the bike, you'll see what I'm doing to the bike, what I bought for the bike. Um, what I've done now is I've literally just put it on the ramp and I'm about to start. I've got a box over there on the floor of parts. Um, two of my suppliers, it's not too bad to get parts for. I mean, all the standard stuff is not a problem, to, you know, to service them. But I'm going full on, like I say. So we're upgrading the forks. Um, I've got a company that we use here that normally up to now, what they've done for me up to now is they've rebuilt um, Triumph Tiger shocks for me and um, um, BMW GS rear shocks for me. That's the, they've done those in the past for me quite a few times. But what they're doing in this instance is they've built me custom suspension for this bike. I've told um, the guy I know at the suspension place the, the, the type of uh, conditions it's going through, the weight it's going to be carrying. So they're building me internals for these forks, valve it, valves, all that stuff. They, I think it's all done actually because I did get an email saying that it's been dispatched so it must all be done. Um, shocks, different springs, blah blah blah. Um, I'm not going to say too much right now of what I'm doing. Um, by the time you see this video the video on Alan's channel will probably be live of the big reveal because what's happening is um, Alan, Alan is promoting what's happening to this on his channel, Helmet Head and uh, on the 22nd of January um, people are invited to come here to start off here at the garage we're going to do a ride out and it's going to be like the the revealing the unveiling of the bike how it is um set up for going around europe and we're going to go for a ride out so it'll be like the last time people will be able to get to ride with alan um so there's a few of us going from the club um and whoever else wants to come basically uh there's not much point saying too much about that right now because that will have already happened by the time you see this so this is basically a video of what I did to the bike okay so uh, I'm gonna shut up now um, and I'm gonna get on with taking the bike apart because the first thing I'm gonna do I nearly went big ball kit but I'm not because what we need here performance would be nice don't get me wrong but but reliability is key here and the problem with putting big ball kits on these you can get a 164 I think it is uh, 181 cc kit which you have to mount an oil cooler and all the rest of it and I was up for all that but the problem is if I take it to the extremes let's say drag racing the more performance you have the less reliability you're going to have and bearing in mind what this bike is about to do reliability is is key reliability is the main thing I have to do so as much as it would be great to be popping wheelies um, and Alan getting all excited saying oh my god I can't believe it's the same bike it, it, you know I can't keep the front wheel on the floor and all that you know I'm exaggerating a little bit so I'm not concentrating on performance I'm concentrating on reliability so I'm keeping it 125 standard OE um, barrel and piston um, which I'm a little bit disappointed about because I did want to go 181 
164, but like I say, it's going to make it unreliable. I've watched some YouTube videos of some of the guys in the States that have put the 180, 181, I think it is, um, and one guy got 200 miles, and, and then he had to fit another one. Well, that's obviously, that's a complete waste of time. So anyway, I'm going to shut up now and um, start getting the bike apart. Righty, that's the piston and the barrel and the cylinder head off and uh, I've taken the valves out of the head you can see that's a bit of a sorry state there don't know if that's picking that up actually one moment caller I don't think it's picking that up but yeah that's not too clever if you can see that either anyway I'll clean them up in a minute um, I sent Alan a uh, well some of you guys might have seen on the Facebook I said I'm on a weight saving mission I don't know what this is I said but uh, I'm pretty confident we don't need it so that's going in the bin but obviously that's the camshaft it's just me being a being a tool so yeah I'm going to um, clean that head up now and those valves reseat those valves in put them back together got the new piston here there's the old piston got the new one there look how cute this is oh got to put the rings on it i thought it would come with the rings on but hey ho so right i'm going to put the rings on put all that together now do you know one thing that does frustrate me with youtube that you can't have any music on other than what i mean i i pay um I think it's three hundred dollars a year for a license to have music from this company, um, but I'd rather pay, I don't know, a substantial amount of money just so I could put whatever music. I mean, does it really matter? Oh, copyright. I mean, w w if you can listen to the music on a device or a radio or whatever it is, what difference does it make if you're playing it on a video that you've created on YouTube? Um, can't they work out some kind of um, system so that each person who owns that music you pay, I don't know, a little bit of money to I don't know, a pound or something a pound a track that would be alright, I don't know, maybe I'm talking nonsense but there I was, quite happy getting my funk right on but because I just want to get a bit of Footage. I've got to turn all my music off. Anyway, I'm just here rubbing one off for a while, um, seating these valves in. You've got the idea. 
Right, that's the cylinder head all cleaned up. The valves decoked, cleaned up. The valves reseated back into the head. All I've got to do now is put that back together, put the valves back in, put the rockers back in and the cam. I nearly said cams. Um, but yeah, put the cam in. Smallest camshaft in the world. Um, well, probably isn't, but you know what I mean. Put that back together. I've got to put the piston on and put the barrel on. I'm going to do that in a second. I'm just having a coffee. Oh, and incidentally, thank you very much for the people that are buying me coffees. Thank you. Right. That's the cylinder head all back together. Valves back in. That's that. I made a bit of a mistake and thought I'd change the base gasket. Um, took me about two hours to get the gasket off. I, I should have just left the old one on, but I thought, as I bought new gaskets, I want to fit one. Um, but yeah, that bit me in the rear a little bit, but anyway, I'm going to put the barrel, put the piston rings on last night, so now I'm going to, uh, piston's all ready to go. Right, piston's now on, in, installed, with, insert your word here, I'm now going to put the base gasket on and then put the new barrel on. Stop swearing, I'm filming! Potty mouths everywhere here. Yeah? Potty mouths! Right, um, razor blade. Oh really? Doing a piece of camera here? Ah oui, bonjour moi chérie, bonjour. Love you Craig. Love you too mate. Love you. Say hi YouTube. You're coming to pay me some money, yeah? What? You're coming to pay me some money. What, how much money do you want? All of it. All of it? <laughs> do I owe you some money? Oh, for the welding yeah, for torch. The welding Come on, then. How much was it? Say hi YouTube. <laughs> oh, this is bigger than I imagined. Look at that. Three litre, uh, you don't look very impressed, Kev. It's a three litre fuel can. That is almost certainly what we call a 316 grade stainless. I was just going to say, I think you'll find that's 316 grade stainless. I would have agreed What do you reckon, Dan? I would have agreed all the way. Yeah. yeah. Generally, fine with tube and stainless, the two common, common types, 304 and 316. That's, yeah. Yeah. 316 yeah. yeah. is used in um, quite often in dairy applications or. I was just oh, going to say. Yes. Just going to say, yes. isn't that oh, what's used in dairy applications? Classified as a seamless tube. Right, I thought, yeah, that makes sense. We now. were just remarking on that this morning, weren't we, Dan? Yeah, that's yeah. it. We're on fire off then, mate. Yeah. If you look inside it, 304 would generally have a ridge where it was welded and it was manufactured on the inside. Right. right. Whereas 316, it won't. <laughs> yeah, we, that's what we were saying. Wasn't we were, well, yeah, you knew that, didn't you? You were telling me this morning. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. that ridge, yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. So yeah, well done, Kev. That now. So that's probably 316. Kev. There you go. This is, this is all why we love you so much, Kev. You learn something new every day. He is the man. Love you, Kev. He's going to be the man with the angle one in a minute, chopping all this apart. Yeah. Okay. Where'd you get your mover, Kev? That's uh, good, mate. So can Sorry? Where'd you get your mover, man? Your car? Hello. Yourself. Hello. Cheers, buddy. Hello. Hello. Say hi, YouTube. <laughs> hi, YouTube. <laughs> um, me and Fabrication Kev are here. Um, right. And um, basically, are you in a position to be able to go to where? It's a company called Just. It's in St Anne's. In St Anne's in Bristol. Right. And pick up a couple of bits for the monkey bike. A couple of bits of. Um, um, Stainless. Bits of metal. Yeah. Stainless. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Yes. If you've ordered it and you tell them I'm coming to get it. Yeah. Yeah, a nice one, thank you. See, this is, this is one of the many reasons why I love you so much. I bet, I bet. Look. <laughs> um, my mate's going to pay you when he comes to collect it. Okay, no problem. All right, I'll get some ready for you. Okay, he does give off, um, like, quite a substan substantial amount of male pheromones. So when he comes in, try to resist the urge of... You probably will want to stroke his hair and hug him, but he doesn't mind, but obviously just try to resist if you can. I'll be looking forward to that. I'll yeah. Be waiting for him. <laughs> okay. 
It's a Wookiee! Wookiee! Hello Wookiee! Hello! <laughs>